game-changing technologies, big ideas, valuable international connections, and the most advanced technical knowledge. This is OTC 2015. What an amazing event here at NRG Park in Houston, Texas. I'm at Highland for OTC TV. OTC sponsoring and supporting organizations are bringing you this event to advance the cause of offshore energy technology. Many of those advancements are right here across the expansive OTC exhibition, from safety equipment and systems to production products and services and so much more. Thousands of companies from around the world are here inside the NRG Center, the NRG Arena and across the massive outdoor OTC Parkway. More than 90,000 expected attendees are soaking up all this innovation. It's a value-added conference and you take away so much knowledge and it just makes sense to come. Well, it's an opportunity to see all the new technology coming on board in our industry as well to interface with customers and suppliers. A lot of times we forget about the suppliers that make us successful and they're here too. Well, if you hadn't been here, definitely come. <laughs> you know, it's an experience that's uh, unique, I think, in the world. Just trying to learn a little bit more about the industry, uh, get a little bit more experience. And back by popular demand, food trucks. OTC continues to expand meal options throughout the NRG Park. The importance of the offshore energy industry is marked by the high-level people who come here to speak. We work best when we work together. I think it's, the state, it's true for state government, it's true for industry, it's true for environmental stakeholders. The governor's panel discussion focused on the appropriate role of the states and the federal government in making decisions for offshore development. Leaders in the OCS Governors Coalition discussed the future of offshore energy production, assessed the dialogue between the states and the federal government, and offered their vision on the future of offshore energy. We have to have the federal government agree to some sort of federal revenue sharing very similar to the Gulf Coast. Without that, you're not going to have any governor's support for offshore exploration. The technical program here at OTC drives industry thinking, and this year is the most diverse yet. The conference received a record-breaking 1,300 paper proposals. More than 80 technical events are happening this week. A panel of experts shared fascinating viewpoints on the next energy hotspots during the active arena. The six panels provided a state of the industry across their respective regions and a long-term outlook. Here at the OTC Legacy Showcase, you can see just some of the history of a conference that's been 50 years in the making, and it's all thanks to the hard work and vision of dedicated volunteers. Today, OTC celebrated the success of those volunteers at the Pioneers of OTC Luncheon. These men and women collaborated to launch OTC in 1969, when the first conference had almost 3,000 attendees, 112 papers presented, and 368 exhibiting companies. Little did these volunteers know that one day, OTC would be a hugely successful conference, attracting more than 90,000 attendees, 300 papers presented, and 2,500 exhibiting companies. I, I love the business. I love the business. It's a great business. How, how could you ever find anything more exciting than this business? We wanted to bring back people that were involved from the beginning, as, or at least as far as back as we could get um, board members, program committee members, board chairman and program chairman and bring them and tell them how much we appreciate all the work that they, they did before us. From OTC's storied past to its future, young professionals are at the heart of the Next Wave program. Emerging professionals partner with industry leaders to understand challenges for the future based on insights from the past. In a session focused on thinking globally, keynote speaker Patricia Vega, president and CEO of Oil & Gas Latin America, says connecting with others is at the root of success. I think at the beginning, as young professionals, you need to be very focused on developing your own track record. Uh, to develop that own track record, you need to deliver your own individual results. But then as you continue growing in your career, you need to start also looking at helping the team and leading the team to produce collective results. 
the discussion addressed how technological advancements and operations are expanding opportunities while taking into consideration the political aspects surrounding these new frontiers and the knowledge young professionals will need to tackle their careers. 17 innovative technologies have the global spotlight shining on them here at the conference. An award ceremony took place to showcase hardware and software advances. OT exhibitors won the prestigious Spotlight on New Technology Award because their products and services are leading the industry into the future. We're starting to see new technologies from other industries coming in, making their way into what we do and, and, and enabling things for us to do that we never had the possibility to do before. Small business technologies are getting a stronger focus this year as well. New in 2015, OTC created a Spotlight on New Technology Small Business Award. The small business applications were evaluated using the same criteria as the other applicants, but also were required to have less than 300 employees. Startup companies have many new ideas and sometimes great investment opportunities. That's why this Rice Alliance Startup Roundup is taking place for the very first time at OTC. Up to 50 companies are here showcasing their business models and looking for potential partners and investors. The future is never far off at OTC, and Monday attendees got the chance to look forward to OTC Brazil coming up in October. So welcome everyone to come to Brazil and to visit us and to participate in this important welfare that we have there. The three-day conference highlights the emerging region that is vital to offshore development. I'm Ed Hyland for OTC TV. Thanks for watching. We leave you now with some of the sights and sounds of wise women, the women in the industry sharing experiences. It's a unique networking opportunity and a chance to be inspired by these highly successful women and their career and life lessons. <laughs>